Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book Sweetness and Power, The Place of Sugar in Modern History. When talking about sugar, what comes to mind? Most of the snacks we consume today contain sugar. Since childhood, we've become so used to sugar that it's almost as if our lives are inseparable from sugar and its sweet taste. Nowadays, sugar is so common that we often take it for granted. However, before the 20th century, sugar was not only a luxury sought by nobles, but also an important factor in advancing the course of history. After the discovery of the New World, sugar was nearly as valuable as gold and silver in the emerging world trade system. The emergence of sugar even led to the birth of new trade chains. Sugar not only became an international commodity popular among the upper class in Europe, but also facilitated capitalism and economic development in Europe. How did sugar make such a huge impact in history? Why did it gain such a high status? You will find the answers to these questions in this book Sweetness and Power. Sidney W. Mintz is the author of this book. He has a double major in psychology and anthropology. He taught anthropology for 24 years at Yale University before joining the anthropology department at Johns Hopkins University where he remained until he retired. Mintz had his way of researching anthropology. He preferred to use a documentary method that allowed him to obtain inspiration from villagers in the fields, and research the development of human civilizations from a unique perspective. Perhaps because of the influence of his chef father, Mintz was also very interested in food culture. From the book Sweetness and Power, Mintz started a new trend in food culture by combining two fields, food and anthropology research. This also allowed Mintz to be known as the acclaimed father of food anthropology. In this bookie, we will unlock the key insights of the book in three sections. Firstly, human beings are born with a deep love for sugar. Secondly, the impact of sugar on historical developments. Thirdly, the impact of sugar on people's lives. In the book, Mintz summed up a fixed rule, humans are born with an obsession and deep love for sweetness. According to research done by some American scholars, nearly all mammals produce milk with a sweet taste, including humans. Doctors feed newborn infants with glucose and water solutions to test the postpartum functioning of the infants. These solutions also determine whether the infant's small intestine can perform normal peristalsis. Both children and adults like sugary foods. For example, our beloved drink Coke. One person calculated if we lined up all of the small glass Coca-Cola bottles sold, the total length of these bottles would equal 2,000 return trips between the moon and earth. Even if we take a return trip each day, it would take five years to complete. This calculation indicates the amount of love that people have towards these types of drinks. Nearly all drinks aside from Coke contain sugar and the flavor of sweetness. Although these days many people promote healthy diets and sugar-free drinks, in reality, promoting and marketing sugar-free drinks is not easy. Therefore, the selling point of many drinks involves the question of sugar content. Even if these drinks are technically sugar-free, they will still contain a sweetener called aspartame as an additive to enhance sweetness. Take Coca-Cola as an example. It is now launching a Coke with zero calories. The calorie content and sweetness of this product are much lower than traditional Cokes. However, because they add aspartame, after tasting it, you will still find that the zero-calorie Coke has a sweetness to it. This is because drinks without any sweet flavor will be discarded by consumers sooner or later. Why are people born with a love for sweetness? In the book, the author illustrates his explanation by mentioning the lives of our ancestors, whose food sources simply came from hunting animals and collecting berries during the process of evolution in early history. These berries contained a large amount of sugar which could provide people with energy for daily activities. On the other hand, the sweetness of fruits helped to stimulate people's taste buds.